Well, today I'm involved with um, working on my club car, golf cart, 1981 club car. Had a little problem. Um, started smelling something burning and uh, found out that uh, one of the cables that go from the battery to the motor, the crimp had actually gone bad and gotten a little resistance and started to burn the cable off and uh, ended up totally burning off the stud and everything off the motor so it required me to pull the entire rear end and motor differential assembly out and uh, got involved with uh, replacing the brushes and putting in a new stud and replacing that cable but this is more likely going to be a two-part video this is the first part here uh, I just wanted to show how I've got the rear end pulled out basically just loosened up the springs at the shackles and uh, unbolted the axle from the springs and just rolled the whole thing out from underneath it. It's just too hard to work on when it's actually installed in the cart. But uh, I've already re removed the end plate off the motor which houses the brushes and uh, there's four connections that come out the side through these insulators here. Okay, These two connections here are actually going to the field coil and the other two I'll show you in a minute actually go to the brushes and so there's a shot of uh, the motor it appears to be in pretty good shape there's a lot of uh, dust there brush material this motor's probably never gone, been gone into and this golf carts in 1981 so it's given good service um, but there's the motor and the differential part of it that end of it. I'm probably going to replace the uh, or change the oil in a differential while I'm at it because I doubt it's ever been done. The uh, electric carts, uh, from what I've been able to understand or what I've been able to find information on the internet, uh, the, the electric carts take uh, just regular 30 weight motor oil and the gas cart actually takes the heavier uh, rear end lube like you put in your rear axle of your car, like an ADW90. So, I'm going to go over and show you the brush end of the motor. <clears throat> this is actually the cable I'm going to use. It's just a, basically a car cable I picked up at Auto, uh, Advanced Auto Parts. It's a little heavier than the one that was on it before. But what actually happened is this crimp, after so many years, it just built up a little corrosion and oxidation ended up having a little resistance there and then when you're running the cart there's a lot of current flowing through there and it ends up heating this area up and in my case it ended up actually burning the cable off the uh, connector and then when I tried to get the the connector off the stud I'll show you what happened it being as old as it is can never get anything off very clean. This is the end plate that the uh, goes on the end of the motor. It's got a little pocket down here where the bearing for the armature goes. And it's got this uh, <clears throat> plate here that houses all of the four brushes here. And uh, they come out to the outside through uh, an insulator, through a square cutout in the uh, cover. You can get a pretty good shot of that there. But uh, the one that uh, I was trying to get off was this one. And I actually broke the stud off trying to get it out. All the other ones came out nice and smooth, but this one here was locked down. Uh, maybe the current flowing through it may have welded it in place, I don't know. But at any rate, when I tried to take it out, this uh, the end of the brush bolt that's attached attached to the brush went for a spin and twirled up all the wires going to the brush and then ended up breaking off the stud off the brush which that was real nice I was able to find the brushes online 66 bucks and these are really not in bad shape it's just this one here is all screwed up so I'm gonna go ahead and just replace them while I'm into it this deep I'm going to replace them and then uh, put the thing back together. More than likely, like I said, I'll make a second part to the video. 
Uh, now one other part here. This is the armature. That's the armature that goes in it. I was just going to clean up the commutator a little bit. The bearing there seems like it's in pretty good shape. And that little plate there is just a retainer that holds the bearing into the end or into the you know, end plate on the motor. I'll show you how that goes together. Slide that back in the corner so it don't try to roll away on me. That's the actual output. It's a splined output that actually engages the differential gear and actually runs the golf cart. Now that bearing I was telling you on the end of the armature, it actually kind of slips, kind of a slip fit right down in here, and then that plate comes down right here, and some small screws go through the housing three screws go through the housing and actually bolt that plate in place. Keeps the bearing from going anywhere. Really wasn't that hard to take apart. It was just getting getting to it. So I mean that required me, you know, removing the whole axle and rear end from the from the golf cart. I think it just made it a little bit easier. And while I'm at it I'll clean some of this stuff up. Just make it a little nicer. Now let's show you what this looks like here, I did make a, another video showing the replacement of those relays. Those relays have been working out quite well. And then here's an original. Original cables they use are a little bit, a little bit smaller than the one I'm going to go back with. But you can see those crimps there are starting to, you know, just from so many years they get dirty and a little corrosion, build up a little resistance, and then they start, start burning up the wire and everything. I had been smelling a burning smell for a while and didn't know what it was and then finally figured out what it was one day and driving the cart and it decided to quit. So anyway, like I said, I'll make another part of this video with it probably all complete. Show you how it worked out. Thanks for watching.